Welcome one, welcome all. This is the beginning of day two of our trial to Plex challenge. Yesterday, we made a grand total of 2.2 million. This is what we have left over after buying several skills, which will help, help us get into our next ship, which will be a destroyer. Our skill down here is almost on its way to level three to be prepared for a cruiser, which will be the ship after that. Cruisers fly medium guns, so we have, where is it? I have this skill, it's in here somewhere. It is right here. Check the skill. So it's ready to go. When we need it. Oh, this I think we'll pull this right here for money anyway. So we have medium energy turret here, which will attack on the end. Woo. Oh, I can't put more on for a little bit. Alright. So we have our next ship. Skill is already trained. We just need the money for it. The next ship, the destroyers fly small small energy weapons, small turrets or launchers, whatever your faction is. And we will be using those. I bought other skills. Sorry. Well, let's go look at this destroyer quick while we're on that subject. Not skills. Ships. Not battleships because those are big for us. Because there's also still big for us. Destroyers. Standard destroyers. Mar. All right. We have a Courser and a Dragoon. A Dragoon apparently is not available. Let's double check that. There is five available at 1.5 million. That's really not a bad price. We have to compare specs on these. So... The Corsair, Corsair, let's see, 10% bonus to small energy, tracking speed and capacity usage, 50% bonus to op range for small energy turns. That would kind of be nice, thinking about it. It has, we'll go 900 hit points, armor, it doesn't have a drone bay. And we have 8 turn hard points. We could fit a lot of guns on it. That would be a lot of fun. Alright, not the Corsair. Dragoon. It only has three turn hard points, three launcher points. We could put six weapons still on it and have go fun with that. It has it does have a drone bay. So we'll see. I'm thinking on that. We'll see. Drone skills take a bit to train up. If I wanted to fly five light drones, it would take drones five, which would take me a week to train, a little over a week. Um, to be able to fly five light drones. But if I, if you have the capacity to do this, this would be a probably be a better destroyer because you can get a lot of DPS damage per second. From drones. So capacity is about the same. Armor hit points is slightly better. Uh, bonuses go to drone damage and energy vampire and energy neutralizer transfer range per level. That's something that's something we have to worry about. Roll bonus, it gets 25% bonus to drone micro warp drive speed. That's convenient. Drones go faster and they do more damage. And they have more, they can take more damage. Very little destroyer drone, but we're not going to worry about the skills for that. We're going to run for that Corsair. Uh, it's also a little bit cheaper. We're looking at 980,000 as opposed to the other one. Now we could jump in this now, actually. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, why not? So we'll buy this up and we'll go with this. Let's see. Let's go to here. Ship hangar. Assemble this ship. Can I There's a button to strip fitting. There we go. Strip the fitting off this ship. Make this ship active. So we'll switch it up and we'll see what our new ship looks like. There we go. There's a little sucker. There we go. Oh yeah, let's put the guns all over it. Nope, nothing in there. Okay. Fit to active ship. Fit to active ship. Fit to active ship. Uh, we're going to need to buy more turrets. Because that's the whole reason we bought this ship. So we can put a ton of turrets on. So we can rip through a bunch of frigates really fast. Get some small armor reps. We have left over from the last ship. Um, we have a stasis module, which is actually, actually quite convenient. <laughs> For little tiny frigates that go really fast and orbit you really fast, you can slow them down and vaporize them really quickly with your guns. Very convenient. All right, what's in here? We have. We don't have an return. Um, we can put a micro warp drive on. That'd be awfully convenient. Let's pull everything out of here quick. So I'm going to continue on refitting this, and we'll be going on to day two. At the beginning, like I said, now we're running at 1.2 million, but we have a just skills to fly a destroyer. We have upgrades. So I bought a good bit of skills. I'll help we our, um, what is it? Our effective standing up. Our effective standing with our level one mission runner, which we have gone to level one missions, is 2.6. That's not bad. You, you, you can start with level one missions. Our effective standing with the level two guy is 0.3, and we need 1.0 in order to fly missions with him. And those missions are worth more money, they're harder, 
and we'll be able to get money faster. But we also need the bigger destroyer um, to fly those missions. So and there's all kinds of guides around the internet. Feel free to Google your way to heaven on all of your mission wanting needs. But we're gonna go run this. I'm gonna finish fitting it out and buying more turns for it. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.